Hi, my name is Maya Kaczorowski. I'm a product manager in security and privacy at Google, focused on encryption. Today, we'll be talking about encryption in transit, how Google encrypts data by default, to and within our infrastructure. When you send a request to a Google Cloud service, like Google Cloud Storage or Gmail, that request is first routed via a globally distributed system called the Google Front End. The Google Front End encrypts traffic from a user to Google and provides load balancing and DDoS attack prevention. The Google front end protects your data using authentication, which verifies the source of your data, integrity, which makes sure the data that you send arrives at its destination unaltered, and encryption, which makes sure that your data is private. Any data that you send to a Google Cloud service is encrypted in transit by default from the user to the Google front end using transport layer security. This protection is implemented using Boring SSL, which is an open source implementation of the TLS protocol the user's browser will automatically negotiate the highest version of the protocol for communication with Google to ensure the best possible security. So once your data is inside Google, what happens? First, it's important to understand that not all data in transit inside Google is protected the same way. We apply different protections to data in transit depending on whether or not it's transmitted outside a physical boundary controlled by Google. When data exits a physical boundary controlled by Google, we assume that the network can only be semi-trusted and that data needs further protection. On the other hand, when data stays within our physical boundaries, we have rigorous security measures in place within our infrastructure, which serve to secure that link. Let's talk about encryption at the network layer, or layer three. Google Cloud's virtual network infrastructure encrypts VM to VM traffic if it crosses a physical boundary not controlled by Google. The communicating hosts perform a handshake and then encrypt data using AES-128. All data in transit at layer three, whether or not it leaves a physical boundary, is authenticated. This protects a compromised host from spoofing packets on the network. Next, we encrypt at the application layer, or layer 7. Google's infrastructure provides authentication, integrity, and encryption of remote procedure calls from service to service when those calls leave a physical boundary controlled by Google. This is also a handshake protocol, and data is encrypted using AES-128. Within a physical boundary controlled by Google, these remote procedure calls are still protected with both authentication and integrity. So to sum up our story, Google uses multiple layers of security to protect your data in transit, including authentication, integrity, and encryption. We encrypt and authenticate data in transit at one or more network layers when that data moves outside physical boundaries not controlled by Google. Data in transit inside a physical boundary controlled by Google is authenticated, but not necessarily encrypted because rigorous physical security measures are in place by default. To learn more, read our white paper, Encryption in Transit in Google Cloud.